um, when I started fifth grade, I was introduced to the world of blogging and researching. Blogging is a great, just a great way to express yourself and with other students helping you give feedback. This can improve your writing and feedback techniques. And so a student could say, oh, hey, you could maybe work on explaining this a little more. And you can be like, okay. And then the next blog that you'll do, you'll improve on that. During our biography project, I and my friends learned a lot about technology. We learned about PowerPoints, how to embed, blogs, videos, a lot of different stuff. Um, during our current project, I and my friend Emmy, um, we got together and found out as much as we could about the website we're doing it on, which is called VoiceThread. It was really helpful, but we learned that um, doing VoiceThread on an iPad is a lot harder than a desktop. The last platform or tool that I'm going to share with you is called VoiceThread. VoiceThread is sort of like a movie maker in a sense where you can add media, videos, or basically whatever you want into it. You can edit you can edit pictures, you can put in audio files, so I can make sort of a commentary on something while some pictures are sliding so it looks really nice and professional. Um, if your teacher is using VoiceThread, she can set up a group, and this group is your students, and the students can make their own projects and put them in that group. The group can comment on them, but it's not in the traditional sense. A commenting can be in text, video if they have a webcam, or audio if they have a microphone in their computer. This is really useful if you just want to sort of be direct, because text, sometimes you just can't really tell what they're, what emotion they're trying to get across to you, like, uh, this was kind of eh. You don't really know the tone of what they're saying. 